Okay, so higher candy types in Okemo, somehow you got here. So please don't forget to smash uh, that like button and, sub and subscribe. So let's begin. First things, we need an example of higher candy types. Uh, I don't know, monads, it's what everyone likes. So let's define a monad. Uh, a monad is essentially a monoid in the category of endofunctors. So it's something like this, it's AT. And then, which is like, it accepts uh, a monad on the left, a, uh, a function that is going to map A to, to BT, and then BT. So that's your monoid stuff. Uh, you also need, an, for a monoid, you also need an identity element. So it, we call it return because, yeah, that's it. So that's a monad. Nice. Uh, a good example of monad is, you know, came up with the option monad. But, because of the tails, the option monad is not actually a monad. So we need to first say struct end, and then we are going to include the module option on the module option, uh, and then define uh, the return as uh, sum. So if you look here, a a t, uh, we can try it by doing monad like this. And yeah, it's right, uh, everything builds, that's nice. But that's not the end of it, so... We have our monad, and then the higher kind of type part here is mostly related to bind and return. You want to make a generic bind, so instead of using option.bind, uh, because that's simple, you can do it in a camel, like sum 5, and then uh, let's say f uh, v to sum v plus 1, or something like this. So that that's simple, but that's not generic. You, you need to call the specific bind every time. We want uh, to have a generic bind. Uh, if you know OCaml, you know there is first class modules, like if you know OCaml well. But if you try the simplest solution for OCaml, you're going to do bind of module M of monad and V and F and do M bind VF. And uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, the type constructor T would escape its scope as expected. Uh, why does that happen? Uh, it's a complex. We can talk about it for a while. So that's not enough because V is going to escape M. Essentially, M.T is opaque, so M.T would escape the scope. Uh, you may know also type substitution in OCaml, which is something like this. Uh, but you cannot do this because T uh, has a different arity. So T accepts a parameter. You can try to do A of T. That's not going to work either, because that's not possible. So, you need something fancier. Uh, because you need something fancier, uh, you're going to need GADTs. So, you need actually an equality witness, because you can do some some, some things. Uh, the trick that, that I'm going to explain here, it's based on the implicit paper. So, let me open the implicit paper. Uh, Zach, Google Chrome stable here and that's the implicit paper and if you go on the implicit paper you're going to find a trick that it's how they describe uh, you should implement it by using uh, oh something like this yes here you can see that to do this trick where you have c a b d uh, for essentially a map that's a map uh, it's a bind plus return uh, we can do about the same but yeah, let's do about the same. Essentially, we we want this signature here, which is not possible to define in OCaml because that's the syntax is not possible. So let's go to to here and say we want a t m uh, a b m t to b m t like this. Uh, of course, that's not going to type because module m is not defined. But you can apply the trick. So first things, let's let's define type A, type B. So this type, this type, and then following the paper, which is this, we're going to go with type C as uh, A M T type uh, type D equals B M T. Uh, and now you need a monad. Uh, for now, we are going to say mod module N equals option. So like this, and that's going to be A and B like this. 
So yeah, essentially you you can do this, uh, but you want to make this generic, simplest way. Uh, I'm going to call it eight uh, higher candy types magic because why not? Uh, and you can define a signature like this. Of wanted like this. So yeah, but you need an an, uh, an equality witness to make this paramagic. Actually, you cannot do it like this because when you are trying to do something like module uh, m of higher kind of types magic, and you try to substitute it like a uh, of you can do a and you can do b, but you are not going to be able to do mt b and stuff like this. So yeah, if I try to do vf, it's not going to work, and m bind. The F. I could try to say, oh, but F is from type uh, F is from type A, which is defined on the left. I'm going to define the types explicitly to make our life easier. So like type A and A. So you could try to do something like this from A to A M T. Oh, to B M T. But yeah, that's not going to work because uh, it's a dot m because yeah. So as you can see here on the left, mt m m m t would still escape the scope. So essentially, we want to say n type d type c equals c. Let's add c and d. My LSP crashed like this. So essentially, you want to do the following. Uh, it's still not possible because C is not abstract. You cannot replace a non-abstract value. Let me reload my VS code. Not sure what happened. Uh, and I need to do something like here. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, I can keep coding. So yeah, that's not going to work. Essentially, you need an equality witness using GADTs. So equality witness. It's a, b equals of equals, and that's going to be a and a of equals. So what you can do is say you have an equality, saying that c, uh, it's a tuple, saying that c and d, it's equal to uh, a and t, b and t. And then we can make this abstract like this and add an equality like uh, there. Now we can make this completely, uh, you can see they are changed. Now instead it's giving us this. Uh, essentially you cannot do this because yeah, life is not so simple. But what you can do is uh, go here. I cannot code with auto formatter. Uh, and you can do let equal of m dot equal in and let open m in so now m dot bind is going to give us a different warning uh, here i'm going to say that v is of type so v is amt so v is c and we are going to say vc uh, the instance is ambiguous and would escape its scope yeah it's because we also need to define this like so because the return type would escape so the return type is d and we can do this. I think that's how we do it. And F is going to be of type A to, to D. Is that, that right? Okay. Uh, why it doesn't work? C A M T uh, of A M T is ambiguous, but I have the quality here. So what is happening? What is happening is that this is not typed. It should be F and then here from A to G. And now it's done. Uh, if we try to call bind, we need to do some elaboration on call, but it's going to work by doing module struct and and let's say you want to apply module option to do uh, apply option. It's not going to work, but you can you can actually do this programmatically uh, with module option. You can do this and then just copy this from here. 
set fun type a b of this set it it as non recursive a equals a non recursive b equals b uh, here it's going to be a m t b m t just copying from up there and here we can say equals 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 like this uh, now it's going to say an option would skip scope uh, because x has the type weak uh, variable and stuff like this but we can call this bind option and say it also has uh, v and f and call it with v and f here uh, and yeah that should be it oh and now uh, you can see that's a bind option bind option to ensure it so we are calling bind like this to ensure it we can do a couple of stuff uh, simplest one is to say a option to b uh, a option to the option is actually just a here and then to the option yeah that types uh, let's try to fix this okay now it's fixed and now you can see when I hover it's showing the type even better I can apply a uh, generic f and let's say the f is going to be so I just want v to be a parameter and f is going to be what I had before which was I think it's v and and some v plus one. Now this type is wrong, but as you can see, it still applies. And now it's saying it should be a to b. Uh, the yeah, that's not going to work exactly like this because you need to add some parentheses. So like this cannot be done. It should be like v, then fun of this, and that needs to be a parameter this I think is like how should we do it uh, that should be V but V cannot go there I forgot anyway uh, you have your higher kind of uh, function uh, higher kind of type function you need some trickery to apply it uh, and to use use it overall but you can transform it and that's how uh, the implicit paper does does it it's around what implicit paper does it you can improve on it and that's the second part. So instead of defining C and T, you can just define a return type, like so. And define here as a return type. So we are going to call this return type, like this. Yeah, it's good enough like this. And instead of the quality being this, it's going to say the quality should be the return type. So what is the return type after applying a module? It should be a and t to a of b and t to b and t. So yeah, that's what you can do. And by doing it here, uh, it's going to fail on c and f. But we can do some some tricks to get inference. Let's comment this for now. Uh, it's saying it's not doing all the variables. Oh, right, because of so you can do this. And then what you can do is essentially say fun vf is equal to mbind vf, which has the type uh, from return type. Uh, oh, I forgot to open. So here I need to do let equals and equal in. And then you need to do let open m in. Yeah, that's it. So that's. It's an improvement over what is described here. Uh, it's probably not useful for implementing implicits, but it's useful uh, to do it by hand. The trick is the same, just changing how we do it. And also it's easier to, to do here because when you, you need to elaborate it, what you can do is essentially say, the, uh, here, let's go back to bind option, the F, and that should be it. It's saying it's wrong, of course because we need to do return type and we can just copy the return type from here and yeah that's it so instead of defining each one you just look at the signature copy it and that's it uh, it's possible to do better uh, because it's so simple I made a tool which is called PPX implicit 
you can try to use it. It's kind of hackish. Uh, it has some tests into Reason. Uh, but it works. As you can see, I have binds, I have some apply, and you can apply your higher, higher kind of, type, uh, higher kind of, fun hi higher kind of function like this. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, please don't forget uh, to like, to, to let the like, to give the like, who knows, uh, and to subscribe on the channel. That was it. Bye.